if you've been in politics as long as I've been, and as you know, certainly from watching the news tonight, you'll know what a uh, troubled and disastrous career I've had in public life. Uh, you, uh, you see your ups and downs. But the thing you have to remember is that uh, from every valley, there's also a peak. And there's also a road uh, that still carries on. And I want to say to Grant and his wonderful family who are here with us tonight, how much we have appreciated their good spirits and their good humor throughout this great campaign, and how loyal we all feel to the Deacon family, to the Grant Gordon family, to the wonderful, wonderful symbol that they have become of goodwill and humor and, uh, and a determination to go forward. So let me just say... We have an expression in French that we use uh, when people are uh, perhaps feeling a little bit under pressure. And that uh, simple statement is, lâche pas. Never, 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 never give up. And so I can only say to the New Democrats, à la prochaine, to next time. <laughs> expression I learned on the South Shore of Quebec. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't repeat it tonight. It would be highly appropriate. Oh. To Craig Scott, the NDP uh, candidate, I congratulate you. There was never any doubt in my mind that you weren't qualified. You're highly qualified. And I wish you all the best of luck in Ottawa. But alas, you poor bugger, you do have to go to Ottawa. <laughs> so about 150 years ago, there was a group of Scottish stonemasons. And these guys became quite famous because their mortar was better than anyone else's. And these stonemasons were around these parts in Upper Canada. And they had a special secret ingredient they put into their mortar mix, and it was called grit. And this grit was a fine sand that made their mortar stronger. It made the stones and bricks bond together better. And these masons were community builders. And they started a reform movement. And it was about equality, and fairness, and equal opportunity. And this movement turned into something called the Liberal Movement. My favorite piece from this campaign compared the Liberals' contributions in Ottawa to the NDP. And the reason I love this wasn't because the, the NDP side was particularly blank. <laughs> uh, it's called negative space in graphic design. Um, but with the help of Arlene, we created a long list of these extraordinary accomplishments of the Liberal Party in Ottawa. And it's a narrative that will continue. I am so privileged to have been able to have this experience. Boys, I'll be back for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> and it really is, just like losing a hockey game, we're all going to be okay. We played great. We held our heads up high. And no, we didn't quite win. <laughs> um, not quite. 
But this is just the first game of a series. So I think, I mean it was pretty tough running against two NDB candidates, I thought one was disappearing, but evidently not. There is a movement afoot in this riding, I truly believe that. It's a liberal movement. I have looked it in the eye and I have shook it in the hand in every nook and cranny in this riding. This started with a tiny little team, Catherine Davy, Phil Winters, Julie Cousins, and me, willing, insane enough to throw himself out there, put himself on the line, and take a chance. But I really wanted to be an example to the incredibly talented group of people in my community to show them you can do this, you can make a contribution, and you'll be okay. Now, this little group turned into an incredible core team at Broadview and Danforth, and these guys were in it for all the right reasons. They had so much passion, they had innovative ideas, they were creative, they were, they were, they had empathy, and they, they just cared about what they were doing so much, and it became infectious. I can't thank you, Bob, enough for the support that you've given me, and for sending throngs of people from Ottawa, so many extraordinarily talented MPs. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I thank Premier McGinty and the incredible support we got from Queen's Park. So many MPPs and their staff, people driving from all over the place to come and help. But I really, really, really want to thank so many people, so many young people in this riding who came out. This liberal thing is young. I feel the, uh, I feel the, the connection with young people. They care, they want to make a difference. And I think that if we keep building our community, not just in Toronto, Danforth, but across Canada. We can rebuild this party. We can gain the momentum we need because that foundation that the Liberal Party has built in this country is being chipped away at with a hammer and chisel by Stephen Harper every single day. We have to rebuild and we have to mount an innovative, passionate, authentic, spectacularly creative campaign in 2015. We are nice people, we are good people, and Ottawa does not reflect that right now. And this is the party, I believe, that can come back and bring that Canadian fairness to Ottawa. To my kids, thank you for enduring this. To my wife, I can't believe you've uh, been, been there and uh, done the dishes. <laughs> no, but Jill has done the dishes about 70 times in a row, which is the right. I'm back to more. I do over. I'm exhausted. I can't speak straight anymore. I am, of course, devastated and disappointed. But I can't thank people like Luch enough, and I can't thank all of you enough. And I'm sure many of you are exhausted. Let's have a shindy. Let's celebrate our great attempt tonight. And my deepest love, thank you everyone.